Recently, I've been starting to get sent a lot of products to review as my channel begins to gain a larger following. Some of these products have been genuinely decent, and some have been of questionable quality. Today, we're taking a look at a product I would consider to be of questionable quality. Thanks to geekbuying.com for sending this laptop for me to review. A link to buy this device is in the description below. At first glance, the Jumper EasyBook 2 looks just like a MacBook Air. However, those similarities end at looks. This laptop is very light, like so light you'd really question whether there's anything inside of it. That could be taken as it's light or cheaply made. I'm going to go with cheaply made. The hinge is a bit flimsy and I genuinely feel like I could snap the laptop in half if I'm not careful. The charger is also super small and cheap, as it's only supplying the laptop with 5 volts, 3 amps for a maximum of 15 watts. Whatever you do, do not accidentally plug the wrong charger into it. A lot of these cheap generic Chinese laptops use the same connector plug. I accidentally plugged in the charger from my T-Bow laptop, which made the Jumper EasyBook 2 pour out with smoke and made sparks fly out of the ports. It no longer charges, so full disclosure, I was only able to use and film the review on the remaining battery life. Thankfully, the battery life was actually somewhat decent, running for around 5 hours. The ultra low voltage Intel Cherry Trail X5Z8350 performed, well, not great to say the least. Even with the 64GB EMMC solid state storage and 4GB of DDR3 RAM, this device was somewhat sluggish and doing anything more demanding than web browsing is not recommended. For a bit of a gaming test, I tried out Minecraft and got some low, if not expected, frame rates. So, how's the full 1080p 14.1 inch display? Surely it's as amazing as the product photos make it out to be. Well, you'd be wrong. Saturated colours and vivid image quality? Well, far from it. This display is one of the poorest I've ever seen. Your viewing angles are also quite terrible. You can enjoy 4K image quality? How? That doesn't make any sense if I'm completely honest with you. In fact, a lot of the claims and imagery shown in the product listing goes from stretching the truth to completely fabricated and untrue. These images here are just photoshopped stock images of MacBook Air laptops, and no, the logo is not backlit. The keyboard shown is a different layout, once again a photoshopped MacBook, and the sound quality is so bad I had to turn it off as it made my ears hurt. Well, how is the keyboard and trackpad though? Well, the trackpad is what I would describe as absolutely horrible. Clicking near the center seems to click both left and right buttons at once. The keyboard was actually alright though. I could happily type on this all day, and I totally would if I could charge it again. After it literally exploded right in front of me, I'm curious to see how it's assembled inside. Using a small Phillips head bit, I removed all 10 of the screws and the back panel came off easily. Looking inside, there is so much unused space. This could easily be a much thinner and smaller device, hence why it felt so light considering its size. I took a look on the logic board and discovered that one of the fuses was clearly blown. Bridging the fuse clearly didn't do anything and it looks like there's damage elsewhere on the board. So would I recommend the EasyBook 2? For the discounted asking price of 240 Australian dollars, it is really hard to recommend, even at the supposed 45% discount. How on earth they can sell these for the normal price of 434 Australian dollars is really beyond my comprehension. This laptop is the bare minimum in terms of build quality and performance. It is incredibly light and the keyboard is alright. Battery life is also another somewhat strong point. In conclusion, if you plan on using it for web browsing and nothing else, it will function, but ultimately this is not a laptop I can recommend. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. On screen are some of my recent videos. If you've enjoyed this, feel free to leave a like, and if you want to see more videos, definitely consider subscribing. Good shot.